Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Guess what? We've made our way to Calgary. Woohoo! Specifically to check out the Tim Hortons here. Roll up the rim season. We're getting free coffees left, right, and center right now. Now, but why did we come here? Well, we came here to go to the Brick Bin, of course. We actually went to Drumheller. Had a great time there. And then Drumheller's only like an hour away from Calgary. So we were like, we should go to the Brick Bin and see if we can find any cool Lego sets, some minifigures, some bulk pieces, who knows. And conveniently, the Brick Bin's just down the road from Tim Hortons, so it's just perfect. Let's head on over to the Brick Bin and see what's new. All right, everybody, we've arrived at the Brick Bin. All right, so we've been here for quite some time and we are working on picking parts. That's the cool thing about the Brick Bin is they have a huge selection of parts that you can fill a pick-a-brick cup with and it costs you $15 Canadian for a pick-a-brick cup and then other select bins it's $30 Canadian per pick-a-brick cup which really is pretty good because you can choose the exact parts that you're looking for so it's hugely famous for that. So I started by going through the reddish brown bin here I've got all sorts of plate you know there's fence elements in here there's all these unique profile bricks that are going to be great for the zoo last time I was here we bought all of them and they've replenished them so that's good now we're going to be able to build even more enclosures using all of these really cool pieces for the zoo also we've got some two by two circular brick for trees also plate for trees and there's all sorts of cylinders in here as well which are obviously great for trees as well now one other thing we need is a bunch of green plate because we're going to be texturing all of the green base plates and we need green plate to do that, to create sort of rolling hills in our castle area. Also, Shazay's picking uh, dark tan, pink, and other bricks for some of the facades and mocks that she's looking to build. So we're going through all this stuff like crazy. All these bins down here, and all these bins right here. That's the main purpose of our trip today is to get bulk Lego, but of course, we're gonna have a look at all the sets. And I've already found a couple that uh, we're gonna pick up as well, I think. And you know what else we have to look at? It is the minifigures. He's got trays of mini dolls and minifigures here, but these are what we call our civilian minifigures, which are gonna be great for populating the city and also populating like the amusement park, the zoo, different areas like that, because we need hundreds more. So you can see there's a bunch here. And we are going to buy a bunch of these for our Lego city. Now over here we've got some more minifigures below the Star Destroyer, of course, in the cabinets. These are all like the Marvel ones, DC ones, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Ninjago, other miscellaneous ones. Oh, he's got the army. Oh, wow, I need those. Okay, let's open this cabinet. That's cool. It's the army men from Toy Story. <laughs> We're for sure getting that for the amusement park. And this one. I don't see why we wouldn't. I don't have any of those. And those are really neat. Over here we've got some Jurassic World ones, including some dinosaurs. Some more Star Wars ones. And then some Disney. You got Frozone in the back there. And also a bunch of miscellaneous ones. And there's all sorts of good sets all over the place, including the UCS Darth Maul. Pirates of Barracuda Bay built at a discounted price. If you wanted to get one, that one, it also comes with a light kit pre-installed as well. All sorts of sealed stuff up here, including the infamous Green Grocer and a built Green Grocer. Bunch of classic stuff. Ninjago City, uh, sorry, Ninjago City, Ninjago City docks. Look at that, that's really cool. An old Western set. Some of the higher end parts priced individually over here. You can get fence elements or poles or <laughs> guitars, essentially anything that you can imagine they're going to have it here, including an orange Porsche, the Bird of Paradise up there, some rides. We've got uh, the Ferris wheel, the carousel, and also the retiring soon roller coaster. Smaller stuff along the bottom, of course, here. It's cool that they have like, you know, current sets and also older retired sets, which is pretty cool. I like that, you know, it's sort of all under one roof. So you can get ball parts, you can get minifigures, you can get, you know, older sets, harder to find sets, new issue sets, current sets, and 
for the most part, I think the current sets are all being sold at the uh, regular retail prices, same as the Lego store. So it's nice that they offer that service here as well. And it's just a sort of different environment. Definitely my favorite Lego store of all time. So you can see we've got Cloud City, Hogwarts, Stranger Things, Fire Brigade, Assembly Square, Pet Shop, Piano, World Map, Blacksmith, Simpsons House, 787 Dreamliner, Hogsmeade, all sorts of friends stuff down here. One of the car sets, that's pretty cool actually. That's a Disney movie that Jose and I have to watch again. And over here we've got more sealed stuff like the London Tower Bridge, the Upside Down, there's another Pirates of Barracuda Bay, Metal Beard Sea Cow, classic stuff. There we go, we're getting a replacement of this right away. Hey, that's actually not bad. I want, oh, maybe it doesn't come with its minifigures and minifig stand, I'll have to ask him. That's not bad for the original Tumblr, 199. It's pretty good. Also, we got the Ferrari here, the London bus, the Sopwith Camel, some trains, including a nine volt train behind there. And lots of other good stuff, of course. Oh, you gotta check out what we found and what we're gonna be picking up in addition to all the parts and pieces that we picked up. That is right over here. We found a brickhead that we don't have yet in our collection. This is the two-pack Ghostbusters. So you get Bankman, Slime Bankman, of course. Also Slimer, comes with the instruction manuals, no box. And I'm thinking about getting this too. I've never seen this poly bag or haven't seen it in a long time. And it's the Volkswagen poly bag. It'd be really cool to uh, match that up with the T1 camper van, of course. Sort of the two different scales of it. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually pick out all of our minifigures, all of our civilians right here. And we're gonna continue going through the bulk parts, of course, as well. And look what that's on top of. This is all poly bags. Poly bags for days in here. So there's a lot more than what meets the eye. Throughout the drawers. And part pins, so yeah, pretty cool. After going through the trays of minifigures, these are all the ones that we picked out. I think there's 46 of them. Those are just gonna be perfect for populating our city. We're continuing to rummage through the part bins and look what I just found. A bunch of 16 by 16 base plates. Also 16 by 32. And there's like drawers full of them which is uh, pretty dangerous if you're a Lego city builder, if you know what I mean. Also, we found some uh, trans pieces in here, so like trans blue, trans green, trans yellow, trans orange, which is pretty cool. And a whole bunch of green for our castle area. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot, but honestly, probably not even enough to do what we want to do underneath the Lego city. But that's what I've picked out so far, and Jose is continuing to pick out other colors as well. Here we go, we got the Ghostbusters HQ. It's a beauty set. I haven't seen one brand new in box in a while, actually. And Jose's over here filling other pick -up cups. Don't ask me why, she needs red. It's a mystery and a surprise. Hey, there's a pretty cool studio set for Jurassic Park 3. Also check this out, we got the Star Wars Arrowhead. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Bunch of city sets over here. Special transport. That's not bad. I like the look of that one. The auto transporter. Garbage truck. Deep sea stuff. Helicopter. I got this one. I like this Coast Guard chip. It's nice. The burger. The burger fire. A couple of them. It's a pretty neat looking uh, fire command unit there. 
I like this uh, seaplane too. Pretty sweet. A good one. Forest tractor. I think I got a forest plane of some sort from the Lego City lineup. Some pretty cool stuff. City area. It's always good to look through these too, like all the sort of parted out stuff. I remember one time they had part of a Hogwarts Express here. Oh, look, there's a whole bin of them. These are usually offered at a really good price. All you have to do is just build them based on the instructions that either come with the set or uh, look up the instructions online based on the set number, right? Might be a few missing pieces or minifigures, but uh, most of them are offered at a pretty good price. Hey, that's pretty cool. This is the plane and trees. No truck trailer or minifigures. Plane and trees complete. Huh. Oh man, we've got lots of parts there, so we'll have to see what we're at. Might have to go through this bin in more detail though. I like the look of those tree pieces in there. Can never have enough trees when we're building our Lego city. Seems like it's something that we're always running out of. Hey, you know what? I don't have this Corvette for $42.99 with the instructions. It's one of the Technic vehicles that I am missing. So I decided to get this as well. It's one of the Technic cars I don't have, so it's worth getting it. And then we've got our minifigures, we've got our mini T1 camper van, we've got Slimer and Vankman, we've got all these green pieces, all these brown pieces there, a bunch of stuff that Jose needed, some fence elements and trans blue tile, some bushes and trees. Bunch of miscellaneous bricks for some mystery projects that we're going to be working on in the near future. We also went through the dark bluish gray bin and got a bunch of slopes for our cliff edges and stuff like that. So that's what we got so far in the entire time. This is what's been watching us. Well, holy smokes, look at this bag. It's pretty heavy. Got the Corvette popping out of the top there. We just finished up at the brick bin. Not bad, definitely a really good store. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on the minifigures that we got. Hey, we got that uh, zombie Captain America. I didn't show you that. That was in the uh, Marvel CMF foil bag that was open there. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, also, we got a whole bunch of bricks and pieces, as you saw, like it's essentially all bricks and pieces. I don't know how many hours we were there for, but it was definitely quite a few. I'm stoked on this little army men that we got for the amusement park. That's gonna be pretty sweet. Wow, what else did we get? Oh, a bunch of slopes, a bunch of stuff for like, custom landscaping and, and whatnot. Not really any major sets that we needed. In fact, there's not a whole lot of major sets that we need in general. And we're coming up to the month of October and November here in 2021. So there is a mass amount of awesome Lego sets coming out in the very near future. Everybody just wanted to share experience at the Brick Bin, oh, as always. Remember to check them out if you're in the area. Feel free to give them a call too if you have any questions in regards to their store. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming on here on the channel. And thank you so much. Peace out.